Arsenal Fan TV, Mo, it's cold. Freezing. There was not many people here, but it was a good game. Man, that's an understatement. Even when I was walking up to the ground, I was looking around like, this is dead. I was like, mm. have I got the right day or the right time or something like that? It's absolutely dead. This has got to be a record in terms of I, I the think, most poorly attended game yeah. at the Emirates. I mean, I, I, we, we were debating where I was sitting, are they going to release the actual attendance but then I suppose the attendance is going to be because it's all the season ticket holders yeah, of course yeah, they'll yeah, count yeah, them yeah, as already yeah, paying for the yeah, game but yeah. I mean people look, that actually showed up what, what would you say 30,000 something like that yeah, well, I'd, yeah I'd say well, that would be my guess as well but people always make a big fuss of the fact that Arsenal give like the ticket sold number they're not trying to pass it off as oh this is how many people have walked through the turnstiles they don't measure that or they don't release it if they measure it they always just talk about tickets sold so mm. it's not like they're trying to pull a sly one we all know it must have been terrible on TV as well everyone watching that game would have known that yeah it's about half full towards the end it was about a quarter full it was just it was embarrassing and you know, look, obviously people can do what they want to do, but I just think it's poor. It's Europa League, man. It's poor. Welcome to the Europa it's League. It's poor form, man. It's poor, mm. poor form. I get that. Europa League, weeknight, 8 p.m. kickoff, not even 7.45, you know, the extra 20 minutes. Mm. But still, I just think it's really poor form. You mm. should back your team. Just come yeah. out and support your team. The game was good, though. There's a good, some, some great goals in the, in the game. All right. Yeah, Bate but... Borisov weren't the greatest, but some great, fantastic. I mean, the Debuchi goal. The, the, the El Nenny yeah, goal, yeah, some yeah. great goals in there. And look, you can only ever beat what's out in front of you. But I, I personally, it's not like I'd watch a lot of this team, the Bate mm. Borisov play, but they must be disappointed because they were shocking. Like, mm. absolutely and shocking. And they had something to play for, as I said exactly, before yeah. the game, that they could still have gone through. But the sad thing is, it's like, you know, in, in the FA Cup or League Cup, we've seen lower league teams come up against Arsenal and, you know, display themselves, you know, make a better account of themselves than Bate Borisov did, who were like, you know, a top team in Belarus. You would have thought that they'd come here, at least make it hard, at least have some sort of game plan. Saw nothing from them. They're finishing, they're passing, everything about them. No intensity, no pressing. They weren't even organised. So, in one way, it was a very good game. Look, I mean, we just played United where it was an amazing game for the neutral, but we didn't get the result. This game, it wasn't exactly a good game for the neutral. It was very one-sided, but we got the result we were looking for. And it seemed like... Man, the force field around the goal against United, that had disappeared today because <laughs> we could have had 10. Yeah. Mm. Really could have had 10. Jack Wilshire, is it time for him to be in the first team? Yeah. I mean, again, yeah. he looked good again today. I know the opposition, but he looked good again today. Look, and that's the thing. Because of the opposition, no matter what he did today, you cannot say to him, but you deserve certain, to start because you know of this is, game. You know what it is with me? With me personally, Mo, there's certain things I see him do that I don't see, for instance, Granite Xhaka yeah. do, which is one, he drives with a ball. Yeah. It's not just his passing. Yeah, if yeah, he sees agree, a space, agree. he'll drive into it. And it, yeah. on top of that, he scored a fantastic goal no, tonight. I, I, I do agree with you on that. He, do, he does have elements of his game that uh, Xhaka doesn't have. But then uh, aerially, Xhaka's a bit better and stuff. You know, So I, I just think if I was Arsene Wenger, I'd be looking at the team. And United game aside, in terms of the result, mm. I'd be looking at how we've been playing recently. I'd say, do you know what? We've been playing quite well. Why change it when the form and the confidence and the vibe in the team is actually quite good? They're playing with some decent fluency. You know, we look good going forward and stuff. We kept a few clean sheets. You know, all of that, it, it seems right, silly to be saying that. If we don't start playing this guy, United, he might want to go. I understand that, but I think... I personally think, and I know we've spoken about this before, if Jack Wilshere was to leave Arsenal, would he go to a club better or worse than Arsenal? I have to be honest and say, given his injury record and all that sort of stuff, he would not be getting no, an upgrade to play on Arsenal. Football. He wants I, to play. I understand that, but would you rather play? Who, where would he go? I mean, like as you're watching this, you think to yourself, where would he realistically go? I'm here in West Ham, heard someone say Everton, all that sort of stuff. I mean, would he want to go there? I'd rather be a squad player for Arsenal than be starting in a relegation battle for West Ham. So... Jack Wilshere loves the club and I'm sure his time will come. He just has to be very patient. And for me, look, you know, we all love Jack Wilshere. He's been at the club since he was a kid. Lovely to see him score. Really want to see him in the team. But just being objective here, I think because the team is actually on good form, I wouldn't tweak anything right now. Mm. But hopefully, look, you know, he'll get a run out there at least. And in this Christmas period, I'm sure he'll get minutes because, you know, it's so, so, uh, the game's come so thick and fast. And it was good to see quite a few of the first team lads getting game time today, like Walcott, Welbeck, and Nenny, that sort of thing. Because in the Christmas period, we are going to need all of our squad. So, you know, glad we won on to Southampton.